Story time. About three years ago, during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, since we were all isolated from one another, I honestly lost all of my skills when it came to socializing. Before the pandemic, I was quite a social person. But when COVID hit, it's like I became a completely different person. After the first year, people were somewhat allowed to go out. But during those times, I couldn't go out without the fear of someone, I don't know, going out of the bushes and stabbing me multiple times in the chest. I had grown to accustomed to staying at home where I was safe and comfortable. Where whenever I went out, I felt like anything and everything was out to get me. It got so bad where I would break down just at the thought of going outside. That's how uncomfortable I was. Then randomly, when I was outside, I had a random realization that nobody gives a single fuck about what you do. It was a shocking discovery for me. For months of caring if that person looked at me funny, if I was weird, if I was being odd, it all went back to one question. Why? When I was growing up, my mom always wanted me to look as presentable as possible, which isn't a bad thing. Actually, I'm quite grateful that she treated me like that. But the problem arose when it got cemented in my head. My mom kept saying things like, Don't do that. People wouldn't like you. If you act like that, you won't have any friends. Those comments made me so conscious about how people perceived me, and in the end, turning me into a people pleaser. I got so obsessed to be liked by everyone, and if they didn't, I would change everything about myself. Or less like this, or less like that. Those words made me who I was. Even if I knew I wasn't like that, I would believe it because it was what people thought of me. It's incredibly hard to stop acting and thinking like that. Even harder if you grew up like it. Which is why I'm teaching you how. Know who you are. Who are you? Are you a nice person? Are you a mean person? Are you tall, short, whoever you are? You need to know the only person who can define you is you. Know and understand your morals and stick to them because you cannot define a person who already knows who they are. Let's say you and your friends are at that age of rebelliousness and your friend gets the idea to partake in edibles. You know that it's a bad idea. What would you do? A person who has defined themselves will immediately disregard that option and tell their friends that it's against their morals and immediately tell them off. But a person who hasn't defined themselves might partake in them if their friends pressure them enough to do so. This is the importance of knowing who you are since this determines your understanding of your morals and respect to yourself. In life, you're eventually going to have disagreements with people and in those times, it's incredibly important to stick to your morals. Which is why you should know your morals and fight for what's morally right. Because in the end, you won't lose anything. If ever you win in an argument, the opposing party will learn. And if ever you lose in an argument, you will learn. The important thing is not to back down because it's like disrespecting yourself. Of course, it's important to listen to what the other party has to say. But it's as important not to keep your opinions to yourself. Why would you allow someone to do something bad instead of fighting for what you stand for? This also correlates to our next tip, have the courage to be disliked. For some people, it's hard to understand that some people just won't like you. But eventually, you have to realize that it's impossible for everyone to like you because you don't even like everyone. Within our life, we'll come across all different types of people. Perhaps people we love and adore to people we absolutely hate. And that's completely normal. But the important thing you must know in this love-hate relationship you must have the courage to be disliked. Just like in the past topics, always fight for what you stand for. Let's say you're in school and you see a person being bullied, being pushed and shoved, and the people around don't really do anything about it. Realistically, common people won't do anything about it since it's not within their business. But deep inside, they know they should have done something. That's where the courage of being disliked comes to play. Even though it's not within your business, is it really worth it watching that same person being bullied every day and watching their lives turn into a living hell? No. Which is why having the courage to be disliked is incredibly important not only for self-respect but also for the respect of others. Care about what people say to an extent. Although this topic has been talking about how to stop caring about what people say, 
but you still need to care a bit so you won't become an arrogant person. We still have to care about what people say to an extent. We must listen to the people who we know that do no harm to us, such as our family, friends, and loved ones. Because realistically, if your mom says you're being stupid and immature, chances are you're being stupid and immature. But let's say a random stranger calls you stupid. Why would you care? That person knows nothing about you and has no reason to call you stupid. But your mom does. Another example is your friends calling you out for something you did. Perhaps you did something that offended someone or caused harm. In that case, you must listen to what your friends have to say since they're only telling you off because they want the best for you. They wouldn't tell you off if they didn't care about you, right? Basically, you just need to filter out the nonsense from people you don't care about from useful suggestions from people who matter to you. Always have an open ear and always strive to be better. With all the topics I've discussed in this video, all the tips, stories, to boil it down to the most simple sentence I can make. Respect yourself so that you don't resent anyone, but also respect others for they don't want to resent you. Basically, just love and respect yourself, but also respect others by telling them off whenever they do something morally wrong. Have the courage to be disliked. Continuing the story said at the start of the video, after the realization of nobody gave a single fuck, I started to become more lenient with my time and energy, and strayed away from people I didn't really enjoy being with, and hanged out with people I respected and admired, which led me to become a person that I enjoy being and started to trust and respect myself more. In the end, learning to love myself and constantly striving to become better. I hope you guys really took in the information and I hope you guys subscribe. Please. As I said in the previous videos, I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and it would really help if you subscribed and liked. I do my best to push out useful content for my watchers and I hope the information I've given can truly benefit everyone. And with that said, till next time, bye bye. Ah, I finally finished recording. I've been recording for two hours. Uh.